two of the strongest, most feared, giant dog breeds that exist on planet Earth, the Kango and the Bull Massive. Which dog is best for personal protection and home defense? Both are known for brute power and frightening intimidation. And now we're gonna compare the two. But before we get started, hit that like button. It helps this channel bring more videos like this to you. And oh yeah, subscribe. And I'm your host, Ali A. Parker. Bite Force. Now I'm gonna start out by saying, the Kango has the most powerful bite in the dog world. They have a bite force of 743 PSI. Now the Bull Massive, they also have a powerful bite, but it's only coming in at 556 PSI. So this round will be going to the Kangoo. Point for the Kangoo. Speed. Now, I know the Kangoo is a large dog, but they're extremely quick for their size. They can run up to 35 miles per hour. Now the Bull Massive, they can run up to 25 miles per hour. That's a little slower. So, the, this round will go to the Kangoo. Point for the Kangoo. Armor or coat type. The Kangoo's coat is medium length and it's thick around the neck area. The Bull Massive, they have a short, smooth coat. The Kangoo will have much more protection with their coat type. So point for the Kangoo. Size. Now the height of a Kangoo will be about 29 inches weight up to 150 pounds the bull massive height about 27 inches weight up to 130 pounds so this round will go to the kango for a size advantage point for the kango Protective nature. Both of these breeds are very protective of their families. And it's just bred into these dogs. They're both very protective breeds. So this round is a tie. Point for the Kango and point for the Bull Massive. Trainability. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. You see, the Kangos are very independent dog breed. So they're not easy to train at all. But the Bull Massive is a lot easier to train. And they'll listen to their owner a lot better. So this round will go to the Bull Massive. Point for the Bull Massive. Good with family, children, and other dogs. Now the Kango, they're not that affectionate to their family. And they should always be watched around children. So, this round will go to the Bull Massive because they're much more affectionate and better in a family setting. Point for the Bull Massive. Athleticism. Now both of these are very powerful dog breeds, but 
The Kangol by far has to be the most athletic. So this round will go to the Kangol. Points to the Kangol. Stability. Well, the Kangol, they like to work on their own. So sometimes they can not be as predictable. So the Bull Massive is much more stable. So this round is going to go to the Bull Massive. Point for the Bull Massive. Life expectancy. Well, the Kango has a life expectancy of around 13 years. The Bull Massive, a little less, around 9 years. So this round will go to the Kango. Point for the Kango. Now let's any the points up. The Kango comes in with 7 out of 10. The Bull Massive, 4 out of 10. The Kango wins. Do you agree? Tell me in the comments. That's all for today. Till next time. Goodbye.